Welcome to the Kingdom Hairstylist Podcast. This is your host, Billie Jean. Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome back to another episode. This is episode 55 of Kingdom Hairstylist, and I am your host. My name is Billie Jean, and this week is going to be very, very, very short. Um, as I prepare to get the kids ready for um, back to school, um, I just was reminded by the Holy Spirit to ask God to do it again. And that was a really, really, really strong reminder. And it was really a good reminder that we don't do all these things in our own strength. Um, I just was so grateful that the Holy Spirit reminded me of how I don't have to do a lot of things on my own when I feel like I'm overwhelmed or when things are just so heavy. Um, Just a reminder that we can ask God to do it again. He did it last year. He did it the year before that. He did it before that. He did it before that. So whenever we prepare for things that um, seem a little bit challenging for us or that just might, you know, you just have really, really high hopes of things going well, um, you just got to ask God to do it again. So this week, like I said, will be a very, very short, short message. Um, As a hairstylist and a mom and a wife and a business owner, you know, we have a lot that we have to prepare for. And it's kind of challenging sometimes when when you're running your own business because, yeah, you have the luxury of taking off when you want and rearranging your schedule and doing all those things that you know that you have to do because before you're a business owner, you're a mom. Um, before you're a mom, you're a wife. And before you're a wife, you have God. So God is above everything. And then comes your marriage and then comes your children in that order. So it's just tough sometimes when you have to prioritize, but you definitely know that you have to make money and you have to keep the business floating and you definitely have to tend to your clients. But at the same time, God is our provider. So when times come up, when you have to be home for your children, God will always make a way. So definitely asking God to do it again was big for me this week. And I'm just grateful that we have a father that loves us and provides for us in ways that we just can't even imagine. And I was reminded of second Chronicles 20 when I was thinking about God doing it again. And I'm not sure if you all know that story, but it's a really big chapter. So I'm not going to read it all, but I definitely will put it in the show notes because it's one of those um, chapters that you just gotta read and dive and take notes because it's so good. But just to sum it all up really, really quickly, Jehoshaphat was a king of Judah at the time, and he faced some challenges because they were coming against him and he was about to be in a war that he was not really prepared for. And he was discouraged and he was afraid, like many of us sometimes when we're coming up against things, not necessarily with, you know, back to school, but just with different challenges. The fact that things are new for us and things are all virtual for everybody, it's a bit challenging because you don't know what to expect. And as I scroll on social media, I see so many people complaining already and it's only the first day um, about the challenges. And I understand because it's tough. But I'm just learning to be more patient. And I knew that it would be a challenge only because it's something new. It's something new for all of us. But everything is going virtual. Everything. Church, even with church, um, there have been challenges with people having technical difficulties. Even with some of the classes that I've taken as far as in the hair industry, they've had technical difficulties. So it's like we have a lot that we're up against right now in this new normal. But we got to remember that God can do it again. So even if we miss something, let's say we miss the first day or the first day of school is awful, like things are not lining up. They're not, you're not able to log in or you're, you're missing certain information. You'll get it again. So just remember to be patient, but also remember to lean on God because you're not doing it all alone and you're not doing it in your own strength. But to get back to the story, Jehoshaphat was up against a lot. 
And um, it just reminded me that he was up against a lot, but he didn't he didn't give up. He basically prayed and he fasted and the whole nation fasted. He had everybody fast. And that's the way that we should look at it. If we all came together and fasted for our children and fasted for the things, this new normal um, as a nation, we probably wouldn't we wouldn't be so discouraged and so frustrated and just so upset about everything that's different now. Um so he prayed, he fasted, everybody fasted with him. And another thing that he did was he um, put a, put together a group of singers and, you know, a praise and, wor- praise and worship team. And they praised God before they even got the victory. And by the time they got to that battle, they already were dead. All they arrived to was a whole bunch of dead bodies. And that just shows us how good God is. He takes care of us and he sees all the things that we're going through before we even get to it. And he knows everything that we're going through. So all we have to do is praise a little bit, worship a little bit, pray a little bit, fast a little bit sometimes, and things will just be so much better for us. So as you go about your week, as you go um, with this new distance learning for this school year, remember to fast and pray for our children. And pray for yourself to have more patience. Pray for yourself to be more um, understanding and more kind to the teachers and the counselors and the principals and all of that. This is all new for them as well. So we just have to remember to do that. And just remember to, you know, just be grateful for the fact that they're coming up with a new way so that our children still won't be left behind. And that they're just doing the best that they can and that they have no control over the internet system. And yeah, they can do some things differently, but they're still working out the kinks and they're still learning for themselves. Um, So that's pretty much all that I wanted to talk about today. I just want y'all to read 2 Chronicles 20 when you have some time and just to pray over our children for this school year. Pray over yourself to be able to handle everything. And if you're struggling with trying to figure out how to take off or worrying about whether or not you're going to lose clients, you probably will. And that's fine. God will replace those people. We have to put our trust in God and not man, which means our clients or whatever. We have to put our trust in God. He knows that we have to be home. He knows that certain parents can't leave their children at home all day long without any supervision because some of our children won't get any work done. Um, So we just got to remember that he knows all, he sees all, and he's going to cover us and make sure that everything is taken care of. Every bill will be paid and everything will be taken care of. So I just want to pray for us all before I close out um, this particular episode. Father God, I come before you today, Father God, and I ask and pray, Father God, that you bless each and every listener, that you bless every household that is represented on this um, podcast, Father God, everybody that listens to this podcast, Father God, I pray that you would cover their households, that any bills would not go um, paid, Father God, that if a person has to stay home with their children, Father God, that you would see a way, Father God, and that you would provide a way for them to be able to catch up on all the bills that they may have due, Father God, and that they won't miss any money, Father God, that you will give them a financial increase, Father God, that will blow their minds, that you will cover their children, Father God, that they will have a wonderful, wonderful Um, school year this year, Father God, that they would succeed, all their children would succeed abundantly and exceedingly more than whatever we thought would happen for this new normal, Father God, that you would bless our households and cover it, Father God, from any um, disease that we will be covered, that we won't have to deal with any sickness, Father God, and that our kids will be closer, Father God, that if they argue that they won't, Father God, that they will learn how to get along and that the children will have a better relationship with their parents, that the parents will be able to spend more time with their children, Father God, that you're giving us a space and time to worship together, Father God, to worship you. We thank you, Lord, for all that you're doing, Father God. We thank you for the covering that you've provided for us already. We thank you for the fact that you have already worked everything out for us in advance. We thank you that you've already given us provision, Father God, that we already have 
all of the money that we need for food and clothes and shelter, Father God, that our mortgages will be paid, Father God, that our car notes will be covered, Father God, that everything that we stand in the need of is provided for, Father God, because we trust in you and we believe in you, Father God, and we have faith in you, Lord. And we know that you always work everything together for the good of those that serve you, Father God, and that are called to your purpose, Father God. So we love you. We praise you, Father God, and we honor you in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Until next week, you guys, I love you all. Have a blessed rest of the week. You guys take care.